Lagos, as you've never seen it before, deep beneath the waves of the Atlantic Ocean on the Gulf of Guinea. Shipwrecks, marine life, and a huge mass of clear water is now attracting increasing numbers of scuba divers to West African shores. The leisure sector is on a fast rise to becoming one of Nigeria's major contributors to the country's GDP. It's being fueled by ventures like this that are capitalizing on Nigeria's growing middle class and their disposable income. Tolu and Far are divers at Scuba Lagos, the first official paddy dive center in West Africa. A few years ago, scuba diving was unheard of inside Nigeria, but now it's gaining popularity in Lagos. I find water very tranquil. On the water, shut out all the noise, all the urban noise of Lagos. And when I swim, I experience that. But with this, I can do it for much longer. You know, the curiosity of seeing what's actually out there, you know, uh, something we've not really seen about Lagos. With one big leap, Tolu and Fa are under. For them, underwater adventure and deep dives have become an exciting part of Lagos life. I started learning how to dive in 2017, February. I uh, did my whole course here for 12 dives, and I've been doing it here ever since. I think people are scared, but it's nothing to be scared about. It's actually relatively easy. So people need to take a leap of faith into doing something new, something that's not done regularly. Local entrepreneur Hussam Azem launched Scuba Lagos in 2015. It's part of his growing portfolio of marine businesses, targeting water enthusiasts and leisure lovers. It started primarily for guys who enjoy jet skiing, and then a year later we launched Scuba Lagos. Um, we also did Lagos fishing charters for big game fishing. And uh, just this year, we launched Lagos Jet Ski Riders The Beach, uh, which is a beach house. The nice thing about this scuba diving is we actually train people to become divers. This has now opened up a huge arena for a different activity in Lagos that simply was not available before. And what we've discovered is that it's an untapped resource of extremely beautiful scenic dives. You go out here, we have whales, dolphins, everything that people pay lots and lots of money to go and see elsewhere in the world in our own backyard. Nobody's gonna connect the dots and say, that Lagos is a scuba diving holiday destination, but there's no reason it can't be. And we've proven that. Nigeria's 853 kilometers of stunning Atlantic coastline offers massive potential for growth in the leisure sector. And new developments are springing up along the Lagos coastline. Riding the first wave of investment is Landmark Africa. They've invested over $140 million into building West Africa's first ever city beach, leisure and lifestyle center. Landmark Village has its own international restaurants, five-star hotel and helipad. Here at Landmark Beach, Members pay $150 a year to access leisure activities and 100,000 square kilometers of private beach. I just kayaked today for the first time. It was very intense, but it's so much fun. But for me, it's laying out and getting a tan. It's like a getaway from the stress and hustle and bustle of Lagos, like the traffic. You come here, you feel like you're in this serene space. So it's just a mini vacation getaway staycation. while you're still. Yeah, it's a staycation. staycation. Although it may look like he's on holiday, this is the hardest working man on the beach, Paul Onwanebe, CEO of Landmark Africa. What is it that's contributing to the growth of the leisure sector in Nigeria? Why are we seeing more people enjoying themselves in their spare time? Three prime reasons. One is just this new age of social media. And people are very aspirational in this part of the world. A lot of people come and try to relive a lifestyle they see on TV or in social media. The second is um, disposable income. So there's a whole new generation of people that have more disposable income. So even in the downturn, they will focus on leisure. The third is just the natural barriers that are being broken down between sort of live, work and play. So people now understand that it's important to spend a good portion of your time, you know, having leisure and entertainment. And how important is it for Nigeria and Nigeria's economy to have a development such as this in Lagos? First and foremost, it enables people to enjoy themselves and spend their money at home. So it reverses that whole capital flight. Um, you come down here, you're seconds from your door. You have everything that you could have outside. So that's one of the main reasons um, we set this up, just to give us a, a chance to enjoy the things that many people who don't have the opportunity to go abroad can enjoy in here. As the sun sets on this beautiful Lagos beach, Nigeria's new breed of pioneering leisure entrepreneurs can look forward to many more sunny days ahead.